In a world where life and death are no longer as certain as they once were, one question emerges. Can we live forever? Not through our bodies, but through our minds. Digital immortality. What if we could upload our consciousness and transcend the physical limits of existence? The concept sounds like science fiction, but as technology, particularly artificial intelligence, continues to advance, the idea becomes less far-fetched. Imagine a future where every memory, every thought, every experience is captured and stored, allowing us to live on in a digital world. But can we truly transfer what makes us human the essence of our consciousness into a machine? What does it mean for us if we could preserve our minds forever? This is where artificial intelligence comes into play. With its growing capabilities, AI might be the key to unlocking this new form of existence. But the question remains, is this immortality even possible? And if it is, would it be us who lives on? Or just a digital replica? As we dive into this concept, we must confront what it means for humanity when our minds may no longer be bound by the physical world. Can we control our digital future, or will it control us? Long before digital immortality was even considered a possibility, it was a concept that sparked the imagination of science fiction writers. From the pages of novels to the silver screen, the idea of uploading consciousness and transcending the human body became a recurring theme. But how much of this was fantasy, and how much of it was grounded in something more? In the early days of science fiction, writers like Philip K. Dick, William Gibson, and others speculated on the potential for mind uploading and digital immortality. Films like Transcendence and episodes of Black Mirror depicted worlds where technology allowed people to upload their minds into machines or even create digital versions of themselves. These works blurred the lines between what was possible and what was purely speculative. But as the years went by, these once far-fetched ideas started to evolve from fiction to reality. Advances in neuroscience and artificial intelligence have begun to pave the way for technologies that might one day allow us to transfer our consciousness into a digital realm. However, despite these advancements, we are still left with the question, are we truly on the verge of achieving digital immortality, or is this just another myth born from the imagination of fiction? While science fiction inspired many of the ideas behind mind uploading, the reality is more complex. Today, we're closer than ever to building the technologies needed to capture and simulate human consciousness. But how much of this will live up to the promises of those early visionary works? And what does it truly mean for us as humans when we start to manipulate the very nature of our existence? Artificial intelligence is pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible when it comes to understanding the human mind. To explore the concept of digital immortality, we must first understand what consciousness is and how it works. Scientists and AI researchers are working together to decode the brain's complex processes. The goal is to figure out how our thoughts, memories, and emotions are created and stored, and whether they can be transferred into a digital format. Today, AI is helping researchers map the human brain. Through advanced technologies like brain-machine interfaces and neural imaging, scientists can track brain activity and identify patterns in how we think and feel. But the key question remains, can we use AI to capture and preserve human consciousness? The idea of transferring a person's thoughts and memories into a computer is no longer just a science fiction fantasy. With AI systems capable of analyzing complex data, we're getting closer to understanding the possibility of mapping out a person's entire mental state, their memories, personality, and emotions. This could allow us to create a digital version of a person, potentially achieving a form of immortality. But we're still in the early stages. While AI and neuroscience have made incredible advances, there's much more to learn about how consciousness works and whether it can be replicated. The collaboration between these fields is crucial if we want to unlock the secrets of the mind and explore the possibility of digital immortality. Artificial intelligence is pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible when it comes to understanding the human mind. To explore the concept of digital immortality, we must first understand what consciousness is and how it works. Scientists and AI researchers are working together to decode the brain's complex processes. The goal is to figure out how our thoughts, memories, and emotions are created and stored, and whether they can be transferred into a digital format. 
Today, AI is helping researchers map the human brain. Through advanced technologies like brain-machine interfaces and neural imaging, scientists can track brain activity and identify patterns in how we think and feel. But the key question remains, can we use AI to capture and preserve human consciousness? The idea of transferring a person's thoughts and memories into a computer is no longer just a science fiction fantasy. With AI systems capable of analyzing complex data, we're getting closer to understanding the possibility of mapping out a person's entire mental state, their memories, personality, and emotions. This could allow us to create a digital version of a person, potentially achieving a form of immortality. But we're still in the early stages. While AI and neuroscience have made incredible advances, there's much more to learn about how consciousness works and whether it can be replicated. The collaboration between these fields is crucial if we want to unlock the secrets of the mind and explore the possibility of digital immortality. Digital immortality changes everything. If time and death no longer bound us, how would our perception of life shift? Without the urgency of death, would we still value relationships, achievements, or experiences? What happens when the concept of a final chapter is erased? On a psychological level, the idea of eternal life might feel detached from the human experience. Would it lead to an endless search for purpose? Or would we fall into a state of existential boredom? Without death, what would motivate us to grow, to change, or to leave a legacy? Eternal life may sound appealing, but could it diminish the meaning of life itself? Or could it offer us the chance to explore the infinite potential of existence, free from the fear of endings? While the idea of digital immortality may still feel like science fiction, real companies are already making significant strides. Startups like Neuralink are developing brain-computer interfaces, inching us closer to the possibility of uploading consciousness. These early steps show promising potential for integrating human minds with machines. Other projects focus on creating digital twins replicas of our memories, emotions, and personalities, allowing for virtual existence long after our biological bodies are gone. While still in the experimental phase, these technologies are paving the way for what could be the next major leap in human evolution. We're entering uncharted territory where science fiction is becoming reality. But with these advancements come big questions. Are we ready for a world where digital immortality could become the norm? And what does it mean for humanity when we start to blur the lines between the living and the preserved? As we approach the possibility of preserving human consciousness forever through artificial intelligence, we must ask ourselves what it truly means to be human in a world where AI has the power to save us indefinitely. What role will we play in the future? And how will we define our legacy when AI becomes more than just a tool, but a new form of life? Will we become the architects of a future where we live forever in digital form? Or will we lose something essential in the pursuit of immortality? As we move closer to this new frontier, one question remains. What does it mean to be human in a world where the boundaries between flesh and machine no longer exist? The answers are uncertain, but they will shape the future of humanity in ways we can't yet imagine.